Are we comfy? Are we cozy? Are we ready to rumble? Hello guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Charlotte and today we're going to be talking about saving money. Now I will be the first to admit that when I fell pregnant with Ophelia, I was a little bit crazy and I decided to buy all of her stuff new. I honestly probably wasted way too much money in my excitement. Today, I want to save you from doing that because there are so many ways to save money when you have a newborn or a baby. In like the first year of your kid's life, you feel like you need so much new and I'm here to tell you how to save your coin because let's be honest, having a baby is already very expensive. If you look at like statistics, I think it's like over a quarter million is how much you'll spend on your child between zero to 17. That is a lot of money. Let's get into the tips and tricks on how to save yourself some coin and cash so that you can actually invest it or spend it somewhere else. The first tip that I have for you guys is thrift your kids clothes. You can also thrift your kids toys. I love to thrift wooden toys for Ophelia, ones that I can easily clean or that look really good, like their condition is really good still. And just things like rattles. She loves wooden rattles, so I'll get her those. But the thing that I love to thrift the most, and honestly, it just brings me so much joy, is thrifting Ophelia's clothes. Now just quickly, a tip inception. I recommend going to the thrift store with a list of things that you need. What is it that you definitely need and what are you searching for? Because at least in the area that I live in, there are so many kids clothing thrift stores and there is so much choice. So A, go in with the list and B, look for good quality items that are stain free, that are new or new attack. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of items that I found for Ophelia at the thrift store. First one is this body. How cute is this for autumn? It's a little fox, so cute. I think I got that for like two francs, which is crazy. Here is another body, it has a little butterfly on it. And I mean, these both are completely stain free. They look completely unworn or maybe like worn once or twice, which is amazing. This was such a find. I think I spent like three francs on this. How cute is this? Stop. This is another great find. How? Stop. These are a little bit bigger for her. These will like fit her next year. And this is my favorite thing I've ever found at the thrift store for my daughter. Again, I think I've paid like two francs for it. Stop. Look at this cute vest. So those are some things that I found at the thrift store. Super inexpensive, great quality, and I can't wait for her to wear them. Another tip when it comes to clothes is ask your friends and family. So for us personally, Ophelia has a second cousin who is five weeks older than her, and my husband's cousin, who's the mother of that baby, has so many clothes, and she has generously given us so many pieces of clothing. So maybe there are people in your life, maybe people in your family, or in your friends group, or maybe in your church, or your community, who knows, maybe a neighbor, who has had a kid, and they have loads of baby clothes that they wanna either give away, or sell for really inexpensively, then go ahead, get that bargain. Let's move on to something that doesn't involve clothes. But again, look how cute. The next tip I have for you guys is buy in bulk. Now, I didn't do this from the get-go and I really wish I had. I will link down below some websites in Switzerland where you can buy products in bulk because there are things that you use multiples of. Let's talk about nappies. Let's talk about wet wipes or nappy bin refills. There are things that you will need a lot of when it comes to babies because babies are messy. Babies eat a lot. I buy Ophelia's food in bulk as well, we'll get to that in a moment. So one of the main things I obviously buy in bulk are nappies. Look at this massive box of nappies. There are 168 nappies in one of these boxes. I have two of them here that are still closed. This is actually a winner winner chicken dinner kind of situation because I bought these nappies in bulk and they were on discount as well at the same time. So I got these nappies really inexpensively. If you have the space to store big items like this, then definitely buy in bulk. For me also, I don't have to log up these nappies in the pram or in the car. I just have them delivered to our home. I have to carry them a few steps up to our apartment and they're here and it's so, so easy. I also buy Ophelia's baby food in bulk. Now this is just one pack. You can get them in a 
like item of six or you can get them in a pack of 12. At the moment, this is how we're feeding Ophelia. I might make a video in the future on the subject of feeding and like baby led weaning, but to be honest, she's my first kid. I really don't know what I'm doing. And at the moment, she loves to eat food like this. So that's what we're going with. As long as she's eating, I'm happy. So yeah, I get that in bulk as well. And again, it reduces the price of each individual glass so much when you get a lot of items and also mostly i'll get a discount code on top of that as well so again i will leave that link down below where i get her baby food from my last tip is buy samples before committing to a full size i have this cute little basket here and it's filled with samples that i have for ophelia you will be surprised how many brands offer sample sizes for free they want you to test their product be amazed by their product and then commit to their company. Whereas a lot of companies want to sell us the idea that our kid will love their product, the reality is every kid reacts differently to each product. So by using samples, you can test, you know, is your kid allergic to it? Do they have an intolerance to it? Do they just not like the taste or the smell of it? You can get nappy samples, for example. You can also get laundry detergent samples. I mean, these are even great to travel with if you're going on holiday or visiting a family member that lives further away. These are great to take with you so you don't have a big bulk item to have to pack. The toothpaste that we use for Ophelia is even a sample currently because she's cut four teeth and we started to brush her teeth and I'm using a sample toothpaste. Why not? They need the tiniest amount so that will last us for a long time. There's nothing more frustrating than committing to a product and buying a full size of it for, I don't know, like 20 to 25 francs and then your kid not liking it, being intolerant to it or just rejecting it. That is frustrating. Where are you going to use that product again? Anyway, those are my tips for you guys. I'm sure there are so many more out there. So if you have one, please leave it in the comments down below. Also, if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do so. The button is down below. Just go ahead and tap it. Also, if you like to, you can ring the bell so you know when I upload. I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.